ambitious plan to go to Europa would be a multifaceted and meticulously orchestrated endeavor requiring extensive scientific research, cutting-edge technology, international collaboration, and significant financial investment. Such a mission would aim not only to land on Europa, but also to establish a sustainable presence and expand human civilization on the moon's surface. Here is a general outline of the key components of the plan. Preparatory studies and robotic missions. Before sending humans to Europa, numerous robotic missions would be launched to study and characterize the moon's surface, subsurface ocean, and atmospheric conditions. These missions would include orbiters, landers, and rovers equipped with various instruments to analyze the moon's composition, geology, and potential for life. These robotic explorers would pave the way for understanding the challenges and opportunities for future human missions. International Collaboration the mission to Europa would likely be a collaboration between various space agencies and scientific organizations from different countries. An international partnership would bring together the collective expertise, resources, and funding required to undertake such a complex mission. Collaborative efforts would ensure that the mission benefits from diverse perspectives, technological advancements, and shared responsibilities. Development of Advanced Spacecraft the development of spacecraft capable of carrying humans to Europa and back safely would be a significant engineering challenge. These spacecraft would need to endure the harsh conditions of space travel, including intense radiation from Jupiter's magnetosphere, and withstand the rigors of landing on an icy moon with a delicate subsurface ocean. The spacecraft would also have to be designed for long-duration missions and provide a comfortable living space for astronauts. Radiation Protection Jupiter's intense radiation belt poses a significant threat to both robotic and human missions to Europa. To protect astronauts during their journey and stay on the moon, spacecraft would be equipped with advanced radiation shielding to minimize exposure. This could involve developing innovative materials and shielding techniques to ensure the safety of the crew. Autonomous landing systems. Given the vast distance between Earth and Europa, Communication delays would make real-time control of the spacecraft during landing impossible. Therefore, autonomous landing systems would be essential to ensure a safe and precise touchdown on the moon's surface. These systems would use advanced sensors and artificial intelligence to navigate and avoid potential hazards during the descent and landing phase. Surface infrastructure and habitats. Upon landing, the first phase of the mission would focus on establishing a base and building habitats for the astronauts. Advanced robotic systems would be deployed to construct the initial infrastructure, such as landing pads, storage facilities, and energy generation systems. 3D printing technology could also be employed to fabricate essential structures using locally available resources. Life support and resource utilization. Sustainability would be a key aspect of the mission. Life support systems capable of recycling air, water, and waste would be vital for the long-term survival of the astronauts. Additionally, resource utilization strategies, such as extracting water from the moon's subsurface ice, would be essential for supporting human activities and facilitating future missions. Scientific research and exploration. The primary objective of the mission would be scientific exploration. Astronauts would conduct a range of experiments to study Europa's geology, oceanography, and potential for life. They would collect samples, deploy scientific instruments, and perform experiments to deepen our understanding of this enigmatic moon and its relevance to astrobiology. Communication and return. Regular communication with Earth would be maintained to relay scientific findings, mission updates, and for essential support. The return journey would require careful planning to ensure a safe re-entry and landing back on Earth. Public engagement and awareness. Throughout the entire mission, there would be a concerted effort to engage the global public in the journey to Europa. This would involve educational programs, media coverage, and online platforms to share real-time updates and discoveries. The mission's success would inspire future generations and instill a sense of wonder about space exploration. Going to Europa would be a landmark achievement for humanity, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and paving the way for future interplanetary exploration and colonization. The plan would require the collaboration and determination of people from all walks of life 
united in their quest to explore the cosmos and expand the horizons of human civilization.